Do you guys remember those short films that was created like a year ago called Kai Strikes Back? It's about Kaiyu going on a rampage because his TV show got canceled and he, and he started killing all the BPS kids characters for being popular than him like Barney, Elmo, Thomas, Molly, Word Girl, and all the other BPS kids characters. But then sooner or later in the sequel, Dash, Dot, including the siblings went to go find the BPS kids characters but they turned the robots by him. And he killed Dash and the kids. But there is actually a third sequel to it. What? A third sequel? I don't know if there's a third sequel. I said. It's called Caillou Strikes Back 3. The Final Battle. One day, I was on the PBS Kids website to watch some clips until I found it. Caillou Strikes Back 3. The Final Battle. The Thunder Gitane and Arthur looking angry and Caillou with the same outfit like in the like in the previous ones. Caillou Strikes Back 3. The Final Battle. And then, I click on it. And then it starts. It starts out with Thomas the Tank Engine on the floor. He get up and he looks around him and he realizes he's in the black void. Thomas then said, Oh, what happened? Where am I? Said Thomas until he looks around and he saw all the other PBS kids characters still laying down on the floor. Knocked out. And then Thomas walked toward Arthur, grows some robot arms and started patting him in the back. Arthur, wake up. Where are we? And then later... Arthur gets up and he saw Thomas and then Arthur said I don't know Thomas, it'll turn us into robots and then we ended up in here And then later, all the other PBS kids scared to start getting up And then Thomas said Come on guys, we need to stop Kalo again and fight back And then later, Word Girl agreed and she said I agree with Thomas, we can't just let a bald bold rat beat us Said Word Girl and then Barney was looking around the chine looking for an exit. Then Barney said, Hey guys, how are we gonna get out? There's no kid in this place. But then later, Super White had an idea. I have an idea, guys. I can use my wand to open a portal back to PBS headquarters and defeat Kilu. Said Super Y. The candidate said, Ooh, this is not a good idea, Super Y. Let's do this. Rubber Man said, Yeah, let's show that bald bad was boss. Said Ruffman. Ooh, ah, said Curious George. Ooh, like the sound of that. Said Elmo, and they all agreed. And then the PBS kids girls go inside Thomas and start riding on him. And then Super Y opened the portal, and then the portal appears, and then all the kids go inside. When they arrived at the PBS Kids Studios, however, it was different. The sky was black, there were fires on the studio. And the place was on fire. Thomas then said, What the heck happened to the studio? Said Thomas, as he looked around the studio being destroyed and on fire. And then Arthur said, Stay focused, guys. He has to be around here somewhere. Said Arthur, and the others agree, and they all get off Thomas and they start running. Thomas then said, We have to stop Halo before he goes too far. Hurry up. And then there, Dingy Winky said, Are you sure Caillou's? Over there, guys, said Dinky Winky. And the others went to go find Caillou, and they started running to go find him. And then a few seconds later, they finally saw Caillou. He was facing back. Arthur then said, There you are, you bold brat! Arthur said angrily, and then all the other PBS kids characters started to get angry at Caillou for turning them into robots two years ago. And then Caillou turned around and he said, Said Caillou, right in front of them. Listen here, Kill. This is why I've canceled your show. Because we all hate you. Said Arthur really angrily. And then Caillou said, How are you guys back to normal? I thought you were my robot slaves. And we will take over the world together. Said Caillou, as the PBS kids scared us confront him. We turn back to normal because of a spell that Barney made for us to change us back. That's right. You hear what Arthur said. We're gonna have to call your parts and put you in jail. Said Barney, also joined the conversation. And then Caillou said, Well, so you think you know where my parents are? Well, guess what? I killed them. And now, they're not gonna stop me. Or grounded me. <laughs> but then the PBS kids' characters grab all their weapons. 
Arthur, a saw, Barney a mallet, Tango Tiger Goo of claws, Emma with a crayon, and Wargo with her flying powers. And then Thomas said, Well, Kayla, looks like you're going to be defeated. And then later, the PBS Kids creator started fighting Caillou. Caillou didn't grab his chainsaw, and he started fighting him. Tinky Winky then grabs his lightsaber and starts fighting him like a sword fighter. Nature Cat grabs his sword. Then he'll tie her group of claws and he starts scratching Caillou, but Caillou's like dying it. Thomas grabs his axe and chainsaw and starts attacking Caillou. Barney grabs his mouth and starts to hit Caillou. Wargo starts flying and punching him. As the fight goes on and on and on. But then later, a few seconds later, this Caillou lost it. Ka Arthur grabs Caillou's chainsaw and throws it off. And then, Arthur said, It's over, Caleb. Thomas, finish him. And then, this scene happened. Thomas went in his reels, and then, He ran over Caillou as blood splattered everywhere as he dies. And then all of a sudden, the sky turned back to normal, including the backgrounds and all the PBS kids characters who were present by Caillou were free, like Eleanor, Peep, the Wildcrats, Peg and, Peg and Cat, the Bernstein Bears, the rest of the Teletubbies, including all the other characters, including the PBS workers are alive again. They were celebrating that Caillou was finally defeated, especially his parents. Even his parents agreed. And then, the PBS kids could just start playing the Use Your Imagination song. Because they're finally free from Caillou. And then, it ended. I gotta say, this is way better than all the others that I watched. And I'm glad PBS kids got Caillou cancelled and removing PBS kids. I'm, I'm glad I never get to see that show ever again.